Hello, John. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm tired. You're tired. We're only two days after the big OE charity golf day. It's a big day. Yeah, oh, very big day. I've just got some sleep. My wife gave me some sleeping pills last night. So the first time I've had any sleep in six days. We're doing fine. Good. Okay. Good. Today, however, I am at my. Well, this is my local course. It is. And this is your old home course. It is my old home course. Yeah, for many years. We are at Cape Cornwall Club. Yes, it wasn't called Cape Cornwall Club when you remember. No, it was Cape Cape Cornwall Golf and Country Club back then. Now it's Cape Cornwall Club. It is. And uh, well, it's a fantastic location, I will say. We've, we've filmed it on the, the channel a number of times at different and different guises and we were here recently for another little man down we was, yeah, charity we the, day. The man down charity day that was, what was it, a couple of months ago now? Yeah, a couple of months ago, so it'll be interesting to see how the course is going. Yeah. Uh, what can we say? Well, as we're going into September right now, this will be the venue for the Mizuno Pairs competition in about, well, a few days time, depending yeah. on when this goes out. I believe we have 23 hotel rooms here, it's certainly over 20. Yeah. And um, lots and lots of different facilities here. They've got a gym and they've got a swimming pool. Yeah. So, what else do you need? What else do you need? Great, great food as well. They've got a fantastic yeah. chef here yeah. right now. So, um, great food, great views, great yeah. facilities. We are on the what's most southern, southwesterly point of Cornwall, yeah. literally. Land end of GS down the road there. Yeah. Uh, Takes time. Quick. I, don't I, do I know. Quick. I don't do it. He drives a fast quickie. car, but he's got a quick swing. Hello, Sensible Nick. Hello, Sensible Oggy. We've, we've, we've named you after the golf day. You're now Sensible Nick. Am I? Okay. Yeah. Did I play sensibly? Well, I don't know. So you... why I didn't come first or second this time? No, that's <laughs> probably because of me. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's... that's the other thing. These yeah. two played together as a we pair did. in did, the, yeah. in the uh, big golf day. And Neil only drove it 60 yards past me. It was, um, I thought I was doing quite well keeping Bad up experience, there. Bad experience, isn't it? But he's got 25 years on me. This is supposed to be a quick intro. Shall we start, lads? So it's a 359 yard par four. Okay. We've got a wall, an old Cornish, Cornish Head. hedge out yep. there. Um, then you've got a bunker over that leading up to the green. We're playing slightly into the wind today and you can get quite a hefty breeze. You can, we've just watched in, a couple yeah. of lads who um, play for the local rugby team here yeah. who've just hit balls and they've all gone down the right. Yeah. Wind is playing tricks already. No, it, they've changed it, changed the course layout around. Yeah, it's a good, good opening hole. Yeah. So if you don't know the course, um, some of you will. The first two holes are played near the clubhouse. Then we're going to go over the road, play another section, and then we're going to do. Um, probably on the third video, we're going to do the amazing holes, aren't we? They are fun. Becomes a totally different animal. They are fun. Yeah. So, I go first. That's how he gets a shot in. Is that right? That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have actually been to um, Hale Driving Range before I came here. Okay. Ian's wonderful facilities there, so yep. we'll see if it makes a difference. Well, you've had a lesson with Jamie Crocker, who actually does lessons here from time to time as well, I believe. I have, I have. Yeah, no, we've had a good laugh. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, mm, there. Yeah. So the idea is we either go through that gap in the middle, here, or we go, to the left or we go over the wall. We don't go over, yeah, can't see on the camera, here. Yes. Good start, though. Not. He's gone well, through the gap. Better. Go on. Go Left on. To right, go through the gap. Through the gap. It wasn't the best strike in the world. No, but you got through. Hold on, Neil. Yeah, I think we'll take that because my good strike will probably be about as good as that. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just the nature of scramble. People have been asking recently why I'm um, obviously not taking as many drives. Someone said it'd be good to see you having a drive on the channel. But quite frankly, when these two are driving as well as they are normally, I won't be needed for that. 112. 112, so it was a bit of a squiffy so drive, but got there. We'll be taking Neil's drive, a phrase we shall be using quite frequently. Quite frequently, absolutely. I doubt that. Well, I hope we will be saying that a lot. That looked pretty good, that looked right at it. Nice sort of bounce. Can't really tell. We're running and gunning today with yeah. one camera. So too much off it. Still bounding along. No, quite a bit short that. Yeah. One thing I'll always take away from from Cape is it does get quite hard and bouncy. Yeah. In We've the summer. Found that you don't really want yeah. that on the greens, do you? Because you're sort of clip top, cliff top, and it's, it's old farmland, it does drain very well. Good strike. 
Ooh, bouncing up. Right yeah, something. Okay, I'll take a look, shall we'll we? We'll see what's up there. So it's getting a bit breezy as befits Cape Cornwall. Um, that's very good. That is who shot? Neil. Well played, Neil. Neil. Take it. Mine, mine Neil. was just off the front. Actually, oh, I was very pleased with mine. How, how was I was yours? a little bit short. A little bit short. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, like I said, we're running gun in one camera today because it's quite a busy course, as we expect. A bit from the right, Neil. It's a lovely day. Yeah. Great start if we get this, though, isn't it? Pretty good. Oh, it's a good part. Thanks. Got a little face of it. Okay. Well done, mate. Very good. So there we go. Well done. On to hole number two, which happens to be just there. Yep. Little short little drive. Okay, so I'm zooming in to where the green is. I'm going to zoom back out over the wall, over the lovely Cornish hedge. And hopefully the second to the lovely Neil when he moves in into shot. Right. There we go. Second hole. Which is called? Badger's Holt. Badger's Holt. It's yeah. a real shame because Badger actually took part in the uh, charity did, yeah, day we took part in here. Um, 336 yard par 4. As you can see you've got the Cornish heads there protruding into the left hand side of the fairway. Very benign until you get to the green where you've got a bunker uh, left hand side but you've also got like a little pond they've put yep. in as well. Um, just short. And kind of out of bounds stuff on the right hand side, really. Out of bounds and yeah, not very nice stuff. Not very nice. This yeah. used to be a farm, I believe, many it years was, ago yeah. before it was converted, yeah. and that's why they kept all these kind of Cornish yeah, hedge they, walls and everything as part of the obstacles. Dividers and obviously in the fields and yeah, yeah, the Payne's farm it used to be. Carry on, my friend. Doesn't matter. Right hand side of the of the Cornish hedge or over it will be fine. That's very good. It's over the hedge, I think. Yeah, that's way over the hedge. Going to come in slightly more right with a bit of luck. Oh, we're over. Yeah. Yeah. It's about 170. We're in, we're in place. Yeah. I'm pleased with that. It's, it's, a, it's a strange thing here because you don't really see many places with walls with obstacles. No. I mean, they are stunning, but the thing is, you can't actually get through them. It's nice to know that's where the. A little mark there, there you go. Yeah. There's le lessons for you, eh? Sounded good, but what happened? Where'd it go now? It's going right. Still going right? Yeah, that's in the, uh, the horrible stuff on that the And the right cabbage, is it? Shall I have a go? Go on, have a try. Someone, someone get me a, a driver then. I'll probably need a tea though, Neil, because I don't really carry teas anymore, because, well, you know, don't think I ever need one, do I? Why might go the other way when you go? I don't know. Right, what do we find next, shall we? Yeah. That's why I don't do driving very often on this channel at the moment. Just to clarify, um, whose who's t shirt are we using, guys? Uh, yours. Using yours, Nick. Are we? Thank you. So, there's that hedge that uh, Nick got over. Neil, go over in that stuff over there. Yeah, Mine, we don't want to think about. There's, there's the hedge that Nick soared over. He soared, soared over, over it. Soared over like an eagle, he did. Honestly, there he is. Right, so we're going to just check this up. Um, as you can see, I've not hit a driver for weeks, but it'll get better. 127. 127? 127. Never shot to last time. Yeah. Except, I think we've got the pond in the way, haven't we? We have, and it's into quite a bit of a breeze, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, if you're on this left-hand side, you do have an issue with the pond. Yeah, it is going to be bouncy, Nick, down there. Wonderful fun addition from uh, Andy Cleary, the owner here. Looks good. Looks good. Looks straight. What well, I wanted to bounce. Back left. Back possibly. left, I think. Back left. Okay, right. lovely. And that's gone. I think you've gone and joined me a bit. Pretty similar, yeah, similar place, I think. Little bounce. The good thing is, you've seen them bounce. Yeah. yeah. And not splashed. There's a little gorsy bit on the edge of the pond there. Yeah, go over yeah. that yellow gorsy bit. Technical descriptions. There's a little gorsy bit on the edge of the pond. <laughs> It's all right. Going right, unfortunately. If it got left, it'd have been all right. So, Nick just picked my ball up, which actually would have been a really nice little shot in. Plenty of green to work with. The lads have just gone off the back here, one and two, and uh, that tends to be the nature of this course. If you land on the greens, they tend to bounce off. So, we're taking Neil's. 
they were okay shots to be honest. I just didn't want to go to the Nice, just held up a little bit on that edge, didn't it? Yeah. Looked like I had a nice little run, that. Not as easy as it looks, it's not those simple shots. Looks like Nick's going for a putt up the slope. That wind is kicking now, up the slope, come on. Not enough power when it comes down the slope. Okay. It was a little bit deceptive there. Was it worse, wasn't it? Right, let's see if John can get it inside us. That'd be good. It's just going to get over that with enough power to get yeah. strength to get down. Oh, there we go. That's the best of the oh, three. One. I didn't feel it was hard enough, and that's weird, isn't it? You don't. Okay. Well done. Okay. So it's an up and down for a four. Another part. Well done. And we all contributed. And we all contributed. Yeah, it's a good yep. start. So Neil, we've done the first two holes, which yep. is on this section of the course. Yep. As you can see, there's the clubhouse. Now we're going to go over the road, yeah? We are, yeah. The road. Over the road, there's some interesting holes over there. Yep. Yeah. We'll see you on the see other it. side. I, I give up talking to that. <laughs> Sorry, we have to laugh because we're using a GoPro and, and for some reason it doesn't understand Neil's dialect, does it? No. It does pick up Bristolian quite well, as I've just found out. So it's a little bit noisy because we're going over the, the gravel off the road. But it's a completely different section. Or I think about ten nine or ten holes. There's nine nine hole no, there's nine holes over on this section. Yep. Uh, and then you've got what is it, seven there on the back. So it's, this is a very wide expansive area now, this this area. It is, yeah. Got a couple got, of quirky holes. Yeah, but, par three the starters on this section. That's a tough one. And then a very interesting hole where you can do various different you got various different ways you can attack it. Yeah. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. But we're nearly there. This is actually a normal um well I'm saying main road, but it's a it's a B or a C road coming down to here. It takes you right down to Cape Cornwall. It does, yeah. Point, yeah. It? Yes. So the tourists are still uh, in evidence here in Cornwall. Uh, this is the end of August as we film this. September is a brilliant time to come and play golf around yeah, here as oh, well. Definitely. And uh, obviously to be a tourist. It's, it's a great tourist location and, and it's one reason why um, Cape Cornwall Club is such a good place to actually come and stay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they've got reasonable price accommodation. I don't put price on here because this could be seen in a few years time as well. So that all may change. Yeah. Uh, they've got a great restaurant. They're doing some great theme nights at the moment. They've got an 80s, uh, 70s, 80s night at the end of September, oh. which looks amazing. I might just get me... Uh, my leg warmers out for that one. Get fame. No, I'm not going to get oh. Okay. No. Uh, number three. Okay, we're on hole number three. Um, but honestly, it's a great location. It's by St. Just, so you get all the kind of mining areas and all yep. the historic stuff here, all the pole dark kind of country. And then you're not very far away from Senan, from Land's End, Penzance, and in that direction where Nick lives, St. Ives. Yeah. This comes to hole number three. GoPro, stop recording. Right, Neil, hole number three. Hole number three, 166 yard par three. It is. You, you fair away in front of the green there, slopes right to left. Everything works that way. Oh, it all works seriously left. Yeah. If you can see, there's a massive drop off on the left. Yeah, you've got a big, well, an old uh, hedge division on the right hand side there. Yeah, it's an interesting hole. It's, it's, it's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, it's playing 167, so we're only like one yard off the, uh, the card, but okay. let's see what we can do. That's how we go. Get a par on this, I'll be very happy. Yeah. What was that, Nick? That left hand side. That scares you a bit. Yeah. It's you kind of best to be on the right. right, and if you're a bit long, it kind of rolls well, it round onto the, the green. The wall of the right, because you just get so scared of the left side. But... That's straight and now left. left. No, it's gone left. Yeah. Wind's catching it, and it's just putting it left. Going down the slope, isn't it? Yeah. Down. Mangled up in the hedge. Yeah. yeah. Not where you want to be. Not a bad strike, but not a good result. Well, right. just on one direction, that was all. All the right notes, <laughs> just not, got the not in the right order. The nail's gone on the right and curling it round, hopefully. Look pretty good. This is a very tricky shot. Down a steep slope, then another steep slope. I don't know what it's going to release yeah. like. That's you either cool. release it up high and drop it and hope it lands and stays, or you do what I'm going to do and try and knock it forward and let it run. 
You've gone for the high one. That's very good. Oh, go on. Oh, oh. Neil. That was leading out, Neil. That was my trick. Is it coming in there? Is it coming out to float? That's very good. That's good for the speed, but that's, you know, go on. Oh, 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 well done. Be good. Just going out right hand side of it. Thanks. Yeah, we'll we'll play play outside. Outside. we all did well there. We did do we bad actually well. on that, didn't we? That could be okay then, Nick, finish Ready? it off, mate. Right, well, I'm trusting Nick here. I'm trusting him too. I trust in Nick. Get him a hat. Well done. No well done. You were right to have your trust in uh, me. Absolutely, we were. So, like we said, lovely, easy, well, par three is a great. Score on this hole. It is, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a good Aesthetic. score to have on this one. And there's the view. What a view. I'm going to walk over the side here, show you a bit more. That's the wall my ball ended up on. And that's your wall, yeah? Your ball ended up on. It ended up on top of the wall. On top of the yeah, My ball ended up on top, on top of the wall there. I'm not allowed to play that, mate. Sorry. No, no, no. We're not allowed to damage the course or the, or the, uh, the walls. So, a little fact. The, uh, the monument on the top. A little fact. Go on, then. Yeah, it was donated to the people of Cornwall, people of Cape Cornwall, by the Heinz Company. By the Heinz Company? Yeah. Did they give 57 versions of it first before they... Uh, they did, yeah, that's the, the 57 version. 57, yeah. 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 It started out that big. Very nice. Yeah, it started out that big, yeah. got bigger, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, my life. Have you yeah. been up there? I've been up there, yeah. It's, it's quite a Yeah, it's a yeah I've been up there too. Gig. Up behind it is uh, the... Um, oh, what are they? The... The prisons. No. Not, no? We know the prisons. Yeah, we're not talking about the rocks. We're talking about the people that have a special hut behind there. Oh, I, I don't the sea know. The people. Checking. The sea people. <laughs> sea people. <laughs> Aquam it, Aquaman lives behind oh, that. That started off so good, and, and they, completely wrong. They do have a nice rock pool over there, don't they? Yeah, the they, do, they do have a rock pool over there as well. Oh, yeah. The National Coast over Watch. There. The National Coast Watch. That's the one, that's the, the sea one, people. Yeah. Thank you very much. Not Aquaman. <laughs> and and that's the prisons, or as, as most people describe it around here. Charles, they got off in a bath, isn't it? Remember, right? It is. Yeah. 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 yeah, it is. Yeah. I don't mind. French will be watching. Every Boxing Day, they do a swim out to that. They do a swim out to it. Yes, they do. We're on um, biding time because we let some people through. There you go. We're just waffling. Beautiful. We're yeah, waffling in a wonderful way. Let's carry on to hole number four, lads. I, I don't know what we're saying there. I'm, I'm just tired and still on medication, mate. The sea people. The sea people. If I've left it in, you'll get the joke. If I haven't left it in, you have no idea what we're talking about. Well, we were talking about the Coastal Watch people, who were fantastic. And, uh, oh, yeah. I think most of them are volunteers, and it's just one of those charities kind of saves people's lives, really, keeps an eye on all the people that are on the sea. So we're winding our way around the a little coastal footpath. We are, yeah, it's stunning, actually. Out to the fourth tee. It's stunning, it but with Neil's driving, it's a bit scary. So I know, it's, uh, it's a bit hairy, but we'll say, we'll get there. The fourth is a quirky hole, I will say. Everyone says it. We'll explain. Pretty much now. GoPro stop recording. Not me neither. GoPro stop recording. No. Oh, yeah. GoPro stop recording. <laughs> no, I don't like my fake Bristol accent either. No, I've got a fake Bristol accent. Oh, I have. Fourth hole, 253 yard par four. We say it's a bit of a quirky hole. Yeah. Because there's a massive. 90 degree dog leg you could play it over the marker or just to the left of the marker with like 130 135 yard club and that'll leave you just down with an approach in of probably about 100 yards yeah or you can cut the corner off a little bit more and go for the green of course so it's a yeah it's a very quirky hole a lot of balls yeah. have been lost there over the, the problem years. is everything if you are a bit short sweeps dramatically to the left it does yeah yeah it all goes out that way and uh i don't know what the it used to be thick rough and badger sets yeah Like that. that looked very good. That should be good, Nick. Again, we're just going to have to wait and see, aren't we? But it looked really good. Well, well I, all I said, I played what I wanted to play. That, that's exactly it. Yeah, you. I certainly on this hole, you play what you feel you need to play. I reckon. I'm going to go right side of the marker. Okay, you're going more for it, yeah. But I haven't got the club that will go all the way. I don't think. Okay, but it's downhill slope, isn't it? So. Yeah. Oh, it's not even all the way. I'm saying nothing. You really waited for it, didn't you? All right. That could be the other issue. You just don't know on this hole. You do just you? don't know. I think. The, I'm trying to think what hole that is. It comes up. Is it the next fifth. one? Yeah, the, the fifth. fifth. So yeah. you thought there is a green on this side, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. There is an OB there, but he could have carried it. John looks like he's going left to the marker. Might be 
Yeah, all right. All right. And that's just leaked a little bit right. Okay, so I'm just trying to show you this hole from the other way. This is obviously where we were teeing off. This is kind of mine shafts and all the difficult bits to get over. I'm going to walk through here. Nick's looking on this side because we think that's where a ball is. That's mine by the look of it. And the yeah, hole is directly over here. Tricky little hole to play. So Neil's currently looking for his. Nick's, I think he's down there. I don't think he's seen it himself yet, but I think it's down there. So, we see it's done okay. Mine's been picked up, it was on the top on the right. Nick's did well, but as I said, it always slopes down to the left, and he nearly went over the back, but he's okay. Still a fair way to go. But we have found Neil's. Neil did okay there. Not far off the green. Well, you two had a very good shot. Mine was slightly out of bounds, we think, probably. Thanks, thanks, sensible Nick. Yeah, and we thought from C, Neil's was so far right, but it's... it's and it ends up... End up I mean, it's pretty perfect. off the corner, I think, for it to be yeah. and We thought yours was probably only very slightly left, and it ended up way down to the bottom edge. Still a bit of shot in there. Yeah, no, it's, it, and good job I didn't take any more than a five. Well, yeah. Right. So this is a little dink on the green. It's a bit of a slope, again, yeah, right yeah. to left. A bit of a slope, it's quite a slope, right to left. So it's just judging the bounce on the green. Yeah, bounce and pace. Not bad, but that's going to pull it away. Yeah, Just before the green, almost, don't you? Yeah. No, the green, yeah, yeah just died right. on that bounce. Yeah. Oh, now, three feet more. Yeah. So I'm going to go further out. Yeah. Well, it's not a bad chance. See what happens if I, if I get that far, it, it might come out. If that turns, great shot, great shot. Well played, John. Well well there we go. I can drive it more, but I'm not bad at it. Great. great shot, great shot. Terrible to what? It's out. Go on. Oh, yeah. Well, well, whatever. Right. We'll take a four, shall oh. we, gentlemen? No. We're hey. Not doing it again. It's a tricky green, honestly. It's a tricky green. We'll go to the next. So, whilst nearly slightly inconvenienced, isn't it? Um, you were having a little practice to go on that, weren't you? It took me four more goes from to that, get that from that in there. It's just one of those. You've got to get enough pace. Yeah. If you don't, it turns too much. Yeah. If you get too much pace, it doesn't turn. It's a tricky little that's a, putt. That's a fun little thing to it practice is a, there, isn't it? That, that is a difficult little putt there. You know. It's a trickier course than it looks at times. Yeah. Right, we'll uh, wait for Neil and we'll crack on to hole number five. So hole number five is another tricky one. Par three? Par three. Par three. 197 yards. Yeah, 197 yards, par three, up the hill, as you can see. I'm slightly on the right here because there is a pond here on the left. When you play from other tee positions, there's a little pond just in front of where you would take the shot. So I'm going to have to sit it from here. One six I think seven. Yeah, the one nine seven is from back yeah. there. So one six seven is. One six here. seven from where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see the courses have all got sponsor sponsors yeah. on each hole. Yeah. This one, I think their business has got its ups and downs. Dolphin stair lift. Dolphin stair is very good. Oh. Okay, we're good to go. Yep, you hurry on, mate. Looks nice. A little bit right to left. You can end up on the left hand side. Could roll down that way, but also could be a chip in, couldn't it? Not particularly good. Well, it's up there, and that's the important thing right now. Right, it's not too bad actually. Yeah, it's just, but staying a bit straight, I like to just bounce into this right. Yeah, but we can have a look. Just sweeping slightly left. Uh, Nick's was there. 
Niels, we think he's gone over the wall. There's the green. There's me. I'd like to say that's a good shot, but well, I've just seen where the flag is. That's going to be fun. It is oh, you've got really tricky. With, like. You've almost got to land it short and hobble it over the edge. Be just, uh, it's just not enough. Not enough. But you really got to just drop it right off that edge, haven't you? It's too much stuff in the way. Nasty. Oh, it's not going to get there, is it? Just on the green, Neil. Oh, we come for it. Go on. That was unlucky. That was, that was but still, <laughs> still so much better than everybody else. It's just such a difficult shot. Yeah, well done. It's a tough one. Well done. So I'm going to film it from up here, but that's, um, that's the kind of slope we're having to deal with. See why it was going to be so tough. I think Nils, no matter what we'd have done then, we'd probably all end up in the same spot if we'd all hit a good shot. That was very good, Neil. We're fighting for a par now. we quite a slope again. Good pace, good pace. Oh! Unlucky, Neil. Unlucky. Did you uh, negate all the slope with pace then? Did it just seem like it was just going straight? It's pretty straight pop. Yeah, it looks like, because when I'm standing here, that slope is dramatic. Nice, nice. Oh. What is it with you two? Can you hit the old Well, you've got to hit it hard enough not to leave yeah. it short. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, like, straight. No, it's not going come right. Okay, lads. We'll drop our shot. Alright, tap on in, Nick. Well done. It's never good giving one back. Thank you. Sometimes never you just good. have to accept the fact that we can't beat the course. Hey, there's so, still plenty of holes left. There is. Let's get on to the next. Great hole. That's par five. Number six. To double check. Let me skip my scroll. Oh, oh wait. Now. Oh wait. It is a par four. Oh. Oh well, thought it was a chance, but you never know. You never know. So the nil, yeah, I got it slightly wrong. This is the par four, there's two par fives after, isn't there? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So 421 yard par four. Yeah, decent par four, yeah. I guess. You've got a wide, massive expanse. You have? It's here on the right hand side of the fairway going onto the fairway of the next hole. And I say we're going all the way up and around. So yeah. it's a tough par four. You need a good, good drive out and a good second shot, don't you? Because yeah. that, that slope. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. And the wind's not helping you. No. Well, the wind is just pretty much straight off the right, so... Okay, so we're going to set this up, wait for these gentlemen to finish playing on the hole. We're going to come down next, um, move out the way and we'll go. Go on the Nick. Take us out, mate. I'll try to. It's... I haven't quite got the length of this one, but you know... Just be sensible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to smash it. Yeah, I thought you might. Go on, go for it. Well, I think that was dead straight, mate. That's lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, that's good. It'll go around slightly right to left and hit the ground. Beautiful. To be honest, I, I can't really hit it better than that. Yeah. Neil can hit it a lot further, but that's... I won't be needed for that. I We're in play, at least. Oh, he's wound that a little bit right to left. But it could have more distance, yeah, isn't more it? Neil? Top layer or bottom layer? Top layer, I think. Right, Nick, what happened, Nick? I hit my best drive. I'm on the fairway, 235 yards. He's such a. <laughs> look where his ball is. <laughs> I just said I needed some more bleeper, did I? <laughs> yeah, now I do. Uh, you know, my best drive, you know, on the fairway, into the ruin, 235 yeah. yards. It was a great, you hit a great <laughs> shot. It was like <laughs> it was a laser, a it was. And I'm almost hoping, I hope Neil doesn't hit a big, good one. I'd love to use that shot. And I've got to. Oh, oh, pick it up. I'm saying nothing. So how far are we, Neil? 140. Okay, no margin for error. Slightly yeah. hard, you'd be over the ball. It's a very busy part of the course right now. And lots of people on the course. Wow. That might be a bit big. Oh, they landed. Short. And yeah. they're short. 
Sure, he's only hit his like far, a... you see, that far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a great stride, Nick. Get up, get up, get up. So you're just short. Not quite. Need a bite. A little bit left ish. They're all a bit short, aren't they? Okay, so we took Nick's. Yes. Yeah, because Neil's is a bit short again. It's a bit it? short again, yeah, I know. Yeah. He's all power and no finesse. Now, what, <laughs> what have we got? Uh, we've got probably about 15 yards up there. Yeah. Little, little right to left, sort of right to left. Not a lot of green to work with, is there Not again? Massive, Not big greens. We need this to be an up and down just to be one over for the yeah. first video. We should be okay on this course. That's very good. That was a good one, right, so That was delicate, very nice. Potable. Potable, that's what we need. Yeah, we've missed one. Well, uh, I love, we don't say anything. Don't tell people, we don't get it back into our mindset. We missed a horrible part. Come on, it was a tough one. Oh, a bit fiery. I could go back and make a whole video about that, that putt place we missed. There's just loads and loads of video versions of it. It still yeah. wouldn't go in, would it? Right. Well, it'd be nice if you could hold it. <laughs> it'd be very nice if I could hold it, but I ain't gonna happen. Yeah, a bit fiery too. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. So, are we taking Niels? Yeah. yeah. I'll mark okay. with your ball, Oggy. That's all right. I've got your tea there, mate. I don't, I don't keep people's teas, honestly. Well, not when they're that scruffy, anyway. Well, it's got my name on it. <laughs> right. Come on, let's get this done. I'll still be happy with just one over after six. There's a good lot of scoring in the next six. Good lot of potential. Ooh, hang on. You started it right and stayed camera. right. Yeah. So yeah, you want to be. Yeah. You want to be where I said it. Yeah. You can't be where Nick told you to. Where Nick told me to put. You got to be there. Oh, be right there. there we go. Just drop it in. <laughs> just drop it in, lads. Yeah, I mean, just made it. Oh, that was it. almost a don't leave it short. So. Is that the end of part one. That's the end of part one, and oh, we yeah. are we are one over already. I mean, just time is flying, isn't it? It's a beautiful day. Well, I say that, it's going to be chilly. It even is. for the end of August. The sun was supposed to be out all day, but it's quite cloudy. Wind isn't too bad, as you can see. No, no it's, it's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. Considering the Cape Cormac Club can be quite breezy. Oh, it can. Pretty good so far. Thank yeah. you very much, Andy Cleary, and uh, the rest of the team here at Cape Cornwall Club for allowing us to come and play today. It's quite a busy course. We're going to crack on. Yeah. I think we've got chances in the second part. We definitely, yeah. There's a couple of par fives. Got the par fives. There's some definite there's some scoring holes. There's par fours. It'll be good. Yes. It'll be good. Come and watch us. Don't forget to pop over to our website to have a look at Cape Cornwall Club. It'll be worth it.